for a while. I know it's been a long time. It's been a year, but I'm back. I'm coming at you with vlogs, story times, and of course, reactions. I was on YouTube for five years. Throughout that time, I went through a marriage, step parenting to four kids, depression for four years, unsuccessful six IUI attempts, the death of my best friend, the death of my cousin slash brother, the decision of leaving my job of eight years, leaving my home, my car, leaving the state of Illinois and traveling throughout the country. I was going through all of that while being on YouTube. Give me some credit, guys. I think a lot of people would have stopped or paused for a long time to get a break because life can be tough, full of challenges. But my challenges did not stop because I stopped YouTube. It continued. But if you continue to watch this channel, you'll know exactly what I went through while I was away for that one year. <laughs> it was a lot. The videos that you will be seeing in the next few months are all videos that I filmed in the past year. This is just your way of catching up to my life. I hope you guys enjoyed that trailer that I posted. That just That's just a little snippet, a little taste of the things that will be coming shortly. We're gonna start off my journey back home on YouTube with this vlog. I was saying in California, and these are just little things that I did around town. So just to give you guys a little taste of where I've been living. Here we are in Southern California. This is the place I stayed at um, while I was here in Escondido, California. Escondido is just an hour away from Tijuana, Mexico. Uh, so it's pretty nice weather out here, but this is the house I stayed at. Sorry for the birds in the background while I'm recording this, but yeah, this is the front. You're gonna notice that it's pretty cluttered, I will admit. When I came in, it wasn't like the pictures, but it is what it is. It did the trick, I felt comfortable, and I enjoyed my stay here. So here as we enter, um, we're gonna go to the kitchen first. This right here is the dining area. Uh, we don't really eat there much. This is the kitchen. What I like the most about the kitchen is the coffee maker. That saved my day every morning. So let's go through here and let's check out the living room. This is the living room. Um, I never came down here. I stayed upstairs in my room a lot. I lived with three men. Let's go over to the backyard. Um, when I first arrived here, this is where I spent most of my days. I now spent most of my days either in my room or in the front of the house. But here it is, it's got a beautiful view. There's uh, little golf things here where you can punt. The side's got nothing, but it is what it is. Let's go back inside. As most of you know, California does not have a basement because of earthquakes. This is the main bedroom, that's where the host lives. And then this is the washer and the dryer. That's where I wash my clothes. Okay, so let's go on upstairs. Um, there's one flight, two flights, three flights of stairs. So there's only two floors, it's a two story home. Come on Gizmo, come upstairs, come on. You can do it. Take your time. Most of you may not know, but he is afraid of heights. He'll go up the stairs slowly, but he won't go down them. So I have to actually carry him down the stairs. So this is the main area. That's like the office area where my host spends his time. Um, and then this is like the little living room area up here. Uh, you can sit there at the desk, do some work, whatever you choose to do. Sit on the couch, watch a little TV, which I never did. I'm on my laptop a lot. I watch Netflix and documentaries and edit videos. And then there's like a back patio back here. It's a nice view from up here. What I don't like about California is that the houses are so close to each other. You can literally hear everyone's conversations clearly. It's crazy. But if you look off to the distance, that building right there is the hospital that I worked at. It's a 10 minute ride, but with my scooter, it took me about 20 minutes to get there. So we're gonna go ahead and go back inside. This is the hallway in the upstairs section. Uh, this is the bathroom. Uh, it's just your typical bathroom, ain't nothing special. 
that's where my other roommate lives and this is where I reside. Don't mind the mess, listen, it is what it is. I liked living there. I was living there for nine months. I worked at four other states. They all asked me to extend, but I chose not to. But this hospital in this state, I chose to extend over and over and over. So it's for good reasons, obviously. The money was great, the people were awesome, and the weather was ooey, top notch. I didn't want to leave. Gizmo didn't either. He actually made a best friend. His name was Rocket. He was my roommate's cat. I forgot to mention, Gizmo got neutered finally. He was a little bit drugged up here, but you know, he's in a happier place as you can see in this photo. So this place that I stayed at was an Airbnb inside of a gated community. So it is up in the hills. They have a clubhouse, they have a basketball court, a tennis court, a playground for kids, a nice view of Escondido. They had a swimming pool and a gym. about traveling it's not just about seeing different sceneries doing different activities it's also about the food you want to try different things so I went ahead and tried two hands I got a fruit punch slush I also got a lemonade slush tasted both of them already and they both are very sweet 
but it's still good nonetheless there's two options you can choose from i chose the dirty fries it's funny though because i think they're tater tots and not actual fries and yep sure enough i don't like to get my hands dirty so i got a fork and let's see what this tastes like it's got um hot cheetos on top of it with cheese Okay. These are actually more popular than their fries. I can see why. Let's open this box. There they are. No, it ain't for you. You ain't getting none? No, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and try their original corn dog first just got some mozzarella on it and and the inside is half cheese half sausage give it a shot <laughs> really good wow now the other two are their two popular dogs so the next one I'll be trying is their spicy dog this has um, in the inside, again, it's half mozzarella cheese and half sausage. On the outside is ch it's hot Cheetos and some more cheese. So let's give this one a shot. Mm, it's not cheese on the top. It's actually uh, some type of... It's, I think it's called dirty sauce. It's how they call their sauce. It is good too, man. If you like spicy, this is it for you. And their next popular dog is called the Potato Dog. It's got potatoes all over it, some hot Cheetos on top of it, along with the same dirty sauce. Let's give this one a shot. Mm-hmm. Out of all three dogs, I would say this one is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Escondido is a suburb of San Diego. But I didn't always have to go inside the city to have a good time. Literally down the street is a karaoke spot. So that's where I hung out a little bit. But if I ever wanted to hit up the city, one of the spots that I hit up was the lesbian bar Gossip Grill. My first night out in California, I actually got to meet Salise Rose. She was there with all her friends and you know what I'm saying? She's a little goofy one. That girl right there is definitely humble. I hit up other areas in San Diego as well. I'm here in the parking garage of Little Italy in San Diego. If you are from any type of city, from any state, you already know that there's different areas, different cultural areas. So the area I'm in now is Little Italy. and Escondido aren't the only places that have great places to explore. Riverside has Mount Rubido, if I'm pronouncing it right. Guys, look at him. Enjoying life. <laughs> I'm here in California for a while. Longer than three months this time, so... But right now, we're only halfway up this mountain. This is where I'm at right now. We still got a long way up. It may not look too high through the camera, but guys, it is. It's, it's up there. You ready? D-Y, double Z-Y.
hit up the hiking spots for my little gizmo because I'm not the only one out here in these streets. My dog is too. You guys look out for my story times because there's a lot of things y'all don't know about me and a lot of stories I gotta tell. Don't miss out on that, the vlogs and my reaction videos. Now my reaction videos and my lives are current. So don't miss out on everything I'll be posting. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace.